To write the Lewis structure for BeBr2, that's beryllium bromide, let's count the valence electrons up first. Beryllium has two valence electrons, it's in group two, and then bromine in group 17, sometimes called 7a, seven valence electrons. We have two of them though. So two plus 14, 16 total valence electrons for the BeBr2 Lewis structure. So we'll write Be and put that in the center, it's the least electronegative. And then we'll put a Br on either side. So we have 16 total valence electrons for this Lewis structure. Let's start by putting a pair of valence electrons between atoms to form a chemical bond. We've used four, so now we have 12 more left. Let's put those around the outside atoms, complete their octets, and at this point, we've used all 16 valence electrons. Both of the bromines, they have eight valence electrons, and they have an octet. The beryllium, however, it only has four valence electrons. Beryllium is an exception to the octet rule. It actually needs only four valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for BeBr2. You could suggest putting this pair of electrons here and here to form a double bond so everything has an octet. But if you calculate the formal charges, you'll find that this is not the most favorable or likely Lewis structure. The most likely Lewis structure, or the best Lewis structure, for BeBr2 looks like this. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for beryllium bromide, and thanks for watching.